everyone, welcome back to another episode of January Daily. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you had a good weekend. Today I want to answer a question that I get a lot, and that is how to record really high quality guitar videos for Instagram or for YouTube. I want to talk you through my workflow going from how I set my camera to how I record the audio and how I sync it all together in my editing software. So strap in guys, it might be a bit of a longer video, but I really hope you get something useful out of this. Before we dive into it, if you do enjoy the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So first let's talk about the camera. So obviously it doesn't necessarily matter too much what camera you use for this. You can use a phone if you want to, but I use a Sony a7 mirrorless camera and that's pretty much what I shoot everything on. I can't show you the camera because that's actually what I'm filming on now, but I'll put a couple of images up on screen just so you get an idea of the camera itself. On top of the camera, I have the Rode video mic and that is only capturing the sound of my voice. For the guitar, I actually use a different microphone and that's mic'd on the actual guitar amp. But the audio that your camera records is actually really helpful when it comes to syncing the audio files later on in the process. So in terms of settings on the camera, there's only really two things that you need to consider, and that is gonna be the frame rate and your shutter speed. So for video, depending on where you are in the world, the actual kind of standard for this in terms of what's programmed into your camera might be slightly different, but it's either gonna be 24 or 25 frames per second. So if you are just recording yourself playing guitar, just stick to one of those two, and then your shutter speed should always be double your frame rate. So if you are recording at 25 frames per second, just make sure that your shutter speed is set to one over 50th of a second, and that's gonna ensure that you have really smooth footage that's not all jittery and weird looking. In terms of capturing the audio for the guitar, that's all captured in Logic Pro 10. So as I mentioned before, I was using a microphone on my guitar amp, and then I was running that into my interface, which is the Audion ID14. If you don't have a guitar amp at home, or you don't have the ability to mic up your amp, then you can record straight into your interface, and you can use amp modelers or plugins to help you create a guitar tone in your DAW of choice. And then all you need to do is record. So what I do is I hit record on my camera, and then I also simultaneously maybe a few seconds later, hit record on my laptop in Logic, just so then I've got the recording happening in the camera for the visuals, and I've got the recording going on in my computer to capture my guitar. So I'm gonna skip through the process of actually recording the guitar because we'll cover this in another video if it's gonna be helpful. But basically all you need to do is once you've recorded it, you just need to bounce out the file for your guitar track in Logic or your DAW um, and just bounce it as either an MP3 or an AIF file. And now we'll move into the actual video editing software because I think this is where a lot of people often need a little bit of guidance and this is often the part of the process that's a bit fiddly in terms of syncing all of your audio and video files together and making sure that you've got the correct aspect ratio and things like that so the video actually looks good when you import it into Instagram. So there are three main aspect ratios that you can use. So what you have first of all is your square crop. So that will be 1080 by 1080. You've then got your more kind of vertical stretched out post, which will be slightly more rectangular. It's a four by five, and that is gonna be 1080 by 1350. And then you have your landscape posts, and those are gonna be 1080 by 609. So when you're in Final Cut, and you wanna create a new project, just go to new, click project, and then in your video section here where it says 1080p HD, click on that and go down to custom, and this is where you can then select whichever size that you want. So if you're gonna be uploading to YouTube, then 1920 by 1080 is fine, but for Instagram, we are gonna to wanna to change this. So let's just say that for this one, we wanna do it as a kind of four by five as a vertical post. So we'll do 1080 by 1350. Also really important to match the frame rate here. So as I mentioned earlier, either 24 or 25 frames per second. And then all you're gonna to need to do is just click okay. And then that is gonna create your project here with the correct size. So then when you drop in your video file, 
you'll notice that it's stretched out. So here you can scale it up, you know, get it to a point where you're kind of happy with the crop of it. And then you'll be happy knowing that when you export this file, it's gonna be perfectly synchronized for Instagram. If you use Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure the workflow is pretty similar and the actual principles I'm gonna talk about should directly to relate to whatever software that you use. But all I've done is I've imported in a new project my video file and my audio file for the guitar from Logic. So the first thing to notice on here is that I've got kind of a few takes and my video file is much kind of longer than my exported file from Logic which has my final um, guitar track on there. So what I'll do in Logic is I'll just trim it to be the take that I actually want to be the final take. Then what I'll do is in the actual arrange window here in Final Cut, I'll just make sure that I know where the last take actually starts. So you can see here there's a tiny break, so if I just play the actual track, I'll just move this out of the way for now. It's just a natural break here, so I know that starting now is where the, um, the kind of final take is going to be. Next we can take our audio file and we can just try and line it up. So when you actually record your guitar track, very much like in films where they have the big clapperboard which kind of syncs up the kind of audio and the visuals. It's good if you can do that on your recordings. So when you start your solo, if you just strike the strings to get a sound, then the video um, will pick that up from the camera audio and Logic will also pick it up in the, um, in the software. So if I just zoom into the waveform here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the waveform from the camera file and the waveform from the logic session and then we're just going to try and sync these up so first thing to do is just to kind of look down here and just kind of see if we can make some assumptions first of all you'll see that the waveforms that they, they kind of follow each other in both files so we can try and just sync it up this way and see how close we get it So the start of it is actually up there, so that's that's fine. So that's pretty good. We can pretty much hear there that it's pretty much synced up. So now what we can do is we can just detach the audio from the camera, delete that, and then you're just left with a clean recording. So there we have it guys, just a quick look at my workflow for creating videos for Instagram and YouTube. I am more than happy to go into more depth if you would like me to. Just leave a comment down below, let me know if there's anything you want a bit more information on, and then I can tailor sessions for future videos and we can dive a bit deeper into the actual nuances and the kind of nitty gritty parts of this whole process. So guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing your video content. I hope this makes the video creating process so much more straightforward and, you know, less time consuming because that's always the, um, the tricky part is how much time all of this stuff takes. So hopefully that makes it a bit quicker. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you all tomorrow for another one.